outside of Echo Fox. They're all guys that are going to get up. They're going to let you know like when you're when you're down the man, they're going to kick you while you're down too. Yes, we're about to kick this off on Foundation Echo Fox against Optic Gaming. Foundation, the standard map pick for both teams. Back in Season 1, it was their favorite map to play. But here we are, map number one. Only one team can win. Fight going to go down to open dirt because we see our round one. Already mental getting taken down by Lancer Far. Pushing through Solars. Picks up the one. Going for the double. That's two off the initial for Echo Fox. Great start for the Echo Fox boys here to kick this one off. This is going to be Kenny down here by T. He's got that frame right in front of him, but you see Kyle is going to have that damage coming from the side with a pistol, and it's going to be Kyle going there to clean up that kill as well. So as we said before, hot start coming in from Echo Fox to kick these things off, and they are going to have that two-hill advantage here right off the rip. Yeah, B being contested currently. Mental backing up here, so they're going to play for their one. I see great job getting the headshot there on Fran. Now up to gaming, pushing forward onto T and the other player. It's going to be Praise pushing up. Great shots, two versus two, but now a two versus one and potentially a two versus none, but Icy with one, looking for two. Gets shut down there by Echo Fox. Great job by Kyle playing the distance game there. Kenny goes for the cleanup, Kenny goes for the one shot, goes for the double, but Mental there to pick his teammate up, and a great job by him. Optic Gaming answering back here. Round number one. Dive for the smoke to try to get that kill, but you see Kenny's coming in through that middle map. He was able to find two, and now the Lance is gonna be out for the He finds summons and now they retake it. Gets the kill on summons, last possible second. Almost shot his teammate, he was very excited there for that kill, so. Now the top table rotations coming in. Toy the first of the party, gonna back up now, recognizing. Does not have help. Two hills to one, out the gaming in the lead here in the first round. Toy Soldier now pushing up, looking for the one shot. He's full red though, does back up and gets it down. So one player down for each team in this two versus two fight. Fran does fall, now Toy trying to get out of dodge here. Kyle pushed out on table. Three versus one is not a good spot for him to be in. And he will fall to Echo Fox. So the damage that they were able to do, and now it's gonna be explosive over here towards A. He finds a one there, now he's gonna be able to take out Solar. Super Fran's gonna be coming on in. And he find the kill, no explosive. He's gonna be able to shut that one down there as well. But now B is gonna be that neutral hill, and you can start to see Echo Fox already start to rotate and going on forward. There's gonna be one player inside. It's gonna be Toy Soldier winning that one versus one with Mental. Yeah, Toy once again breaks the hill, the last possible moment there. But the lead is building, Dirk. It's 149 to 79 at this moment in time. It will take a split push from Echo Fox. Fran kicks it off with the double kill. They have a third player isolated here. Play him wide, play for your damage, good job. Rotation gonna come out now. Two players are gonna be up for Optic Gaming. Can Mental hold off this push? He's gonna be red, gets the one kill on Fran. Backing up now into his teammates. One hill to contest, it's gonna be C. It's getting drained by Echo Fox. Players are coming in, Kyle does get the one, rotating around now, looking for two. Can Echo Fox contest long enough? Icy gonna be there for the kill, and a double now for Icy. Solars, one last chance, gets that kill, but that OE has happened on the B hill. Summons now, winning that fight. We'll see, Lancer Shot's gonna go down, so he knows he's gonna have Fran Weak. Beaks right over top, is able to take the head off there as well. Opti came in the prime position to try to take this one. If you're Echo Fox, you need to try to push on forward to try to neutralize that B heal because they will just win off of this one. And that's exactly what they're going for. They have the double home heal set up, and now somebody needs to make B a priority over towards here. You can see the fight's gonna go down, but this is gonna be Optic Gaming taking round number one against Echo Fox. Nice rotations from Optic Gaming, just, you know, applying pressure at different areas of the map. Icy getting excited, Gilbert. Drinking in a nice Red Bull. Wouldn't mind one of those myself right now. But yeah, nice start for Optic Gaming. And again, another round in a row for them. Different team. Sugar free or regular? Ooh, well thank you my friend, Veli. Sugar free. <laughs> you see what the weapon placement is gonna be in right here off the rip. How do you wanna try to play this weapon placement if you're Echo Fox? You know, I mean, they had a good start. Solar's got two kills off the initial, but they weren't able to build on that. Optic came back and kind of answered that right away. So they're not going to do anything crazy here. Incense at B is a good placement for them. If the rounds do get out of hand, though, then we'll see something more aggressive. Maybe that boom shot down there in the middle. But thus far, kills are pretty even. Just with a matter of rotations there for Optic and a matter of holding those points for longer than Echo Fox. Maybe you talked about off the initials on the side of Echo Fox. The crossfire was in there straight off the bat, and Solars went straight through into open. He was able to find two kills. So you can see the two three split that's going to be going down now. It's going to be Icy Smoke is going to be out, and it will be Toy on the other side with that Lancer adding down that fire. But now he's going to be caught in that smoke screen. He's able to cut on and through over here towards the open. It's going to be mental. He's going to find one, though he's not. Summons finds one. Toy finds another. Icy as well. But Echo Fox start going up on top big there. Three players dead on the side of Optic Gaming, and they're still standing strong. Summons finds. Falls five dead 
for the side of the green wall. Great job by Echo Fox playing their numbers. You saw them that distance game. They just played pistols were out. Shots were being had by all the members in that team. Now it's going to be meant on the home hill. They'll clutch up at one kill, and now it's going to be Echo Fox backing up. Not able to cap just yet, so two hills now in control of Echo. Toy's not leaving yet, though. He is going to put some pressure, at least for the moment, but he might want to back up here. Well, as I say that, he's going to get that down there, but here comes Optic Gaming off respawn. Toy gets one, Toy gets two, looking for three. Shut down by Mental, and Mental doing what he does. Gets a double kill and maybe a third kill, but shut, shut down at the end there. Three dead for now. What seems to be Echo Fox, two dead for Optic Gaming. And what's going to be Kenny to follow that one up? As you can see over here towards that B hill, you're going to have a, an engagement going down right now between Explosive and Fran. Fran backing up, just waiting for that teammate support, but Explosive's going to be right here. He's able to get the kill there, gets the down. As now Toy Soldier, he backs up towards the ramp. Michio's going to be up, but he's going to go ahead and push through the smoke here. Try to do as much damage as possible as Toy is starting to rotate through. But now you can start to see towards this bottom side of the map, up in top tables, you have Echo Fox. They're trying to make the play over here towards home. Two players from Optic Gaming are set up to defend. They mean they had them trying to make a play, but Optic rotated quicker than Echo Fox. They got to the home hill. They called it out, and that is just a superior play from them. And what you see from a lot of pro teams. So Optic is in a position to contest. They're going to down Praise. They're going to get the kill on him. Now after Echo Fox, thinking about backing up, thinking about getting out. Kyle's not going to get out of his life. Solars with a kill, but in a bad spot, getting pistol. Still alive, Solars will go down. So the hold does come through for Optic Gaming. See Toy, 1v1 against Explosive. Explosive wins that one there as well. C is going to be taken over. Are they going to be able to go forward with that one? It's going to be Explosive pushing up, just trying to get these kills. Two seconds away from the domination. It's going to be denied there, thanks to Praise. As now the kill comes in, he's finally going to fall there. Summons gets the meat shield. Has one more play in front. That is going to be Solar. Shots are going down, but now it's a one versus two here for Summons. He does have the support in that backside, but he's going to go and do the smart play here. Retreat towards Statue. You don't want to try to take that one versus two. And somebody did sneak B for a moment for Echo Fox. They did have pressure on that side of the, hill, of the, uh, the map, but he does fall, so Optic Gaming again in control here. Big, big lead. Respawns are short, but again, where we're at now in this round, Dirk, it's going to take a split push and pretty much a slay out of the entire Optic Gaming team. Incense, go over Icy, not going to get the kill, but going to pin him in the corner. Two Incense, no kills, but definitely blocking some of the entry points for Echo Fox. Uh, you can see the domination will be coming in here again. It is going to be denied, though. Echo Fox showing that resilience when it comes down to shutting that one. But as you brought up, too, Icy, he did burn those two instants, and it did kind of force them out of that position, trying to pin them all close together to try to get those shots down. But realistically, didn't do a whole lot for Optic Gaming in that situation. But look at the score as it stands. 196, they have the one hill. They will win off just holding C. But you can see the aggressiveness coming in from Echo Fox right now. Could we see a turn of the tide and the domination coming in here? Is anyone on the side of Optic Gaming going to be able to deny this one? But they're just making it so they don't have any sort of points. Echo Fox are holding on true over here towards A. They bounce back in a big way. One apiece. A nice answer there. Echo Fox coming back in the face of adversity. Being down two hills to one and a healthy, healthy point lead for Optic. But Echo Fox staying composed, putting their numbers in the proper position and Franchise leading the charge here for that round victory. And I'm just like loving the sense of urgency that you're getting. It's like, okay, I mean, Optic Gaming, they've passed that point where if they're holding that two hills, they're going to get the lead. Echo Fox is able to react quickly and they say, okay, we need to make this a priority. Let's start to fly. I mean, that's where you're starting to see a lot of the gap between these teams and really how good they are there as well. But Echo Fox, are they getting that win? It's going to be big for them. So I believe on the map, I think we saw a weapon block going up there towards the fountains. And you definitely don't want Optic to get a lead, a big lead. We saw it happening against the United. You know, they got 3 0 and then they just steamrolled from there. But here we are again. Blocks do go out like you mentioned. So incense are still there. Blocks are out. Nothing going to change. Solar's in open. That's where he plays. And let's see who gets these kills off the initial. You can see it looks like off the game trying to make the play to make the snag on those incense. They force the players on the side of Echo Fox all the way into his B. But it's going to be Kyle actually picking up the incense in that situation. And it's going to be Echo Fox going on top in these gunfights as well. Three players dead from the side of Optic Gaming. And a kill comes in with the incense. That's going to be from Kyle. Icy Mental. Last up. Mental overextends all the way through. He goes over here towards the Sea Hill. It will be Fran, the first player to engage. But instead, he's going to go down here towards the ramp. Wait for that teammate support over by the cubes. And Fran backs him up there. Mental, good job getting the rotation out. Echo Fox, though, they won the initial pretty handily. And they are now in control of this map. At this point, call your numbers. Mark them out. Because it's going to be out the gaming. Pushing in here, using their smokes. Kyle on the block. They're going to back up. I like that move from him. Give up B, and now probably a rotation to top tables we're going to see here. Echo Fox actually coming up open. Two players dead for Optic Gaming. Echo Fox three versus one. Now Mental gets shut down. That's the way you isolate him. Such a threat on the map. You use your numbers, you take him out, and you move on from there. I mean, you 
you saw the player too, just kind of scoped him out, and then they just end up tagging him, didn't take any sort of shots, but it's three versus one. Mental, well, he's a great player, but you're not going to be able to win in those sort of situations. And here we go again. Could be a domination coming in from the side of Echo Fox. Just one second away. Can somebody get a touch? No, they cannot. Echo Fox is up. They are hyped. They lead two to one here in map number one. Giving Optic a run for their money in our second matchup of the day. Teams are dapping it up. As a side note though, on our side station, Dirk, we do have Supremacy versus Rise in map number three. Currently six to five, Supremacy, and now six to six, Rise, Supremacy. Oh, the winner of that's gonna move on. The loser's gonna go home with a upsetting, upsetting finish for them. But a great one going on right here on our main stage, Echo Fox, Opti Gaming. Maybe see Boom is going to be the weapon placed there towards the middle map. And like you said, there's something to bring up is that Echo Fox has been getting a lot of those key engagements down low. They've been able to win them, but now the fight instead of going over towards Pistons is going to be going down here towards the bottom stairs. It's going to be mental. And Kenny getting the first two kills here in this round. Explosive is going to be down. Fran trying to make the play. He's going to be able to find the kill there. No, he's actually going to find himself up. Explosive is going to pick up the boom shot in that process as well. Four players dead inside of Echo Fox. And they got Troy pinned on the statue. He should not be able to get out with a kill here. If he does, it'll be a big play. But there it goes. Icy takes him down. Solars and Praise are off the respawn, but already on the hill with the boom shot is explosive. He's going to pop on a nope. and hold it that time. Great job of him not wasting the boom shot. Now Echo Fox rotating out, trying to get to B. Explosive realizes it. Boom shot coming in. Smoke goes out from Echo Fox. Here comes the mayhem. All right, on the back. And like we said, we have a lot of action going down here with OptiGame versus Echo Fox. But as we said, we have another great losers game. We're going to transition over towards that one. That's Supremacy versus Rise. One apiece in the map. Count six, six in the round. So the last round, the winner of this is going to advance forward. The loser is going to go home. And this Rise Nation team, people with this new roster flowing, pretty high expectations for Supremacy, giving them a run for their money. Yeah, Triple Cap Domination coming out potentially. They're going to get the kill there. Striker's gonna go down, and Supremacy gonna now have four. This could be what Rise needed. Only player up is Zorkos. Has to get in the hill here. 2v1, Rise Nation looking to move on. Hammer versus good, and Rise Nation clutches up. Seven to six, map number three. And we can see we're looking over the side station right now. We're just seeing the energy guys who had a slow pull play. And now we're going to go right back into the main stage action here. So we are back with Echo Fox versus Optic Gaming. It's now going to be tied up here at two apiece. And you see the M bar is going to be placed there towards the bottom statue in that one. So that's going to be an Echo Fox placement there. Yeah, one versus one for the M bar. It looks like Icy going to take on Toy Soldier. Let's see how they play it here. Pretty pass to our boom shot. Quick pick by Mental already. Icy pushing forward, can't do much just yet. Fran gonna go down. Icy with a kill on Toy. They got boom shot. They're gonna get M bar. They're gonna get all the kills here. Kyle trying to play for his life here, looks like. But not gonna be able to do it for much longer as the weapons have been picked up here by Optic Gaming. Icy, uh, he's a, such a threat with that weapon. But now holsters it. Players pushed out. Turn and burn for Icy. Three versus one on Praise. Not gonna be able to get out of here. If he gets one, it'd be a big kill. But Mental playing it smart shuts him down. Yep, as you can see, B now up to game. He can go ahead and push on in to try to get control of this one. You're going to have Icy laying down those shots with the end bar from range. First shot is going to go down, but is not going to be able to tag up anything with that. But they do have B and C control. You can see from the overhead, it's going to be a one versus two over here towards the table side. I see just back it up and playing his life. He knows how important it's going to be with that M-Bar. Like you said, with them picking up the two power weapons automatically gives them that advantage here early. And if you're the side of Echo Fox, you're just trying to bait out the shots, trying to get away from these power weapons, trying to isolate it. But I see it's going to be able to ice Kyle there with the headshot and the M-Bar from range. They have another player to worry about, though, who's going to be up top. That's going to be Praise. Yeah, I see rotating around, looking to get the kill on Praise. Now two players are flanking as well from Optic Gaming. Praise again in a bad, bad position. And he's going to lose his life there. Summons on the home hill already. Toy spawning up. Has to do something amazing here. Not going to do it. Shut down by Optic Gaming. And that's 3-2 to two Optic. I feel like there's just so many situations for what we're seeing in this game so far, right? I mean, we even back go look at the United Optic Gaming series. They were able to isolate just that one player. They were forcing United to play these one versus two, one versus threes. What you're seeing right now from Optic Gaming as well is that they're forcing Echo Fox into these one versus three fights. You saw off the initial, Toy was able to slip on through and they had the right idea in mind. We're gonna go in for a pinch. He was taking out those three players. In that last sequence of praise, through it. Oh, again, another one versus three. They're putting them in these situations that are damn near impossible to go on through. I mean, the score is still to, so close. It's only separated by one round apiece here. So off to gaming. They lead three to two as we head into this next round. Yeah. I see 18 kills already, 16 for mental. 12 across the board for three players at Echo Fox. So the kills are not the question here. It's those hills and those rotations that will tell the tale of the tape on this map. Three, two, Optic Gaming again up. Currently map number one here in our loser's bracket. I know it's shocking to you just tuning in now, but 
Graze does get the team kill on Solar, so not the way you want to start this round. They're icy rotating around Mental. Picks up two now for Echo Fox. Icy with the Lancer. Three dead for Echo Fox. Things are looking good here for Optic. They most definitely are, and that's going to be four dead now. It's going to be Fran trying to be sneaky over here towards the statue. He's going to be able to find a kill and summons. He's going to be able to pick up those incense. Fran just doing his best to stay as live. Solar's will be the next player. Up. You see a little bit of a little bit of nice dancing action coming in there from Icy as well. Solar's though, he's going to be able to get that touch, but he's going to be inside of the incense. They know they have it pinned into the back corner. The kill is going to be there for the side of Optic Gaming as well. Optic Gaming. Another round on the board, they make that three in a row. And four to two, a big round, honestly, four to two. Now we see three rounds in a row strung together for Optic. And it's gonna be maybe another case of if it let it, if it, let it get out of hand, it might be too much to come back from. Most definitely is, so it's gonna go into this uh, fresh half here. D, E, and F are gonna be the hills of choice. So we'll see if Echo Fox is going with that raw gun skill. What we kinda saw at the beginning of the rounds when there was no weapons on the map, that's where we saw Echo Fox had the most success. So we'll see if they're gonna be able to replicate it here and get off to a hot start. You can see Home Hill is gonna be a play from Optic Gaming going over there towards F, but you can see how much emphasis the son of Echo Fox is putting on statue. They're forcing a one versus two with Icy. Yeah, and three and the five kills last round came from Icy. Had 18, now has 21, we see already Taken down there's explosive, pushing up here into suicide. Nice kill, one for now, a double for Mental. Not willing to give up his life, not looking for three, but shut down there by Praise at the end. He had to have that kill, and he does come out with it. Meanwhile, Icy rotates around, gets a kill there on Fran. 21 to zero, no points for Echo Fox yet, and it's gonna be a two hill cap for Optic. Definitely is, but now you can see one versus three. It's gonna be Summons finding the first kill there. Another one charges on forward. It's gonna be Solars. He's able to trade that one out. So now the domination is gonna be denied here. They're gonna take back their hill that is theirs. That is going to be D, but Optic Gaming, they have them pinned completely in this backside. You see Explosive just trying to remain silent over here. Using a third person camera, trying to spot out the players. Spots Toy, he's gonna whiff the first shot. Toy makes him pay there. He takes out Explosive as the push is coming down onto the ramp. But you can see Kenny right now trying to tag up the players and just trying to salt and pepper them, as we do say. Salt and pepper. Maybe a little oregano too, if you're in, in luck. Toy Soldier though, to kill Echo Fox coming back here now. One, and now a two to one kill trade. Great job by them, franchise gonna rotate around three players from Echo Fox are playing for that E-Hill right now. And Fran just gonna take his time there and hold those shots and take down Kenny, former teammate way, way back in the day here from Gears of War UE. But now they're once again matching up against each other on Championship Sunday. You know the explosive is going to be over towards here, but they've allowed him to push out just a little bit. But you're going to have Mental, Icy, Kyle, and Praise. Smoke's now going to go out. They do have him pinned over here towards the statue, so it's going to be an immediate trade. Praise takes out Icy. Mental finds one, but it's going to be Kyle getting the last lap there. He's able to find Mental, so they're going to still have that E control, and now they do have that two hill advantage. But now you have Kenny trying to be sneaky, coming from the backside of Fran. He's going to be able to take one shot. Don't believe he was able to do any damage. The smoke comes in, so he is going to be stunned, but. In this whole process, Fran is able to stay alive, and so is Kenny. He's able to get away with his life, though, for the time being, as it looks like they're trying to make the play over here towards D. And staying alive, like you said, Kenny gonna miss roll, still stay alive, and now gets a kill on Praise. That cannot happen. Two versus one, Toy trying to get some kills here. Kenny in position as well as his teammate. One kill for Toy, looking for two. He's gonna get the double on Kenny, an explosive. Big, big play on the home hill. We see the rotations now are coming out. Echo Fox gonna use those kills to maybe rotate over. Now they're gonna hold a two-hill cap, but 162 for Optic Gaming. We're gonna see once again if Echo Fox can come back and clutch up at the end here. And you see a shot just comes in, so Kyle's gonna get dropped there. Mental, he's gonna be able to find a kill, so he finds himself a, a quick two over towards this side as now the rotations are gonna start to come in for the side of Optic Gaming. They do have E, but you start to see Echo Fox, they overextended going down through Pistons, and they were able to go over towards the fountains and take back that F hill as well. But as you can see, Optic Gaming, they do have that lead. You start to hear the music being tuned in there as well. D, not currently capped by anybody. You can see the play that Toy Soldier has in mind. He pushed on forward, he's gonna be able to find Icy there with that shot. But now he has one more person inside. It's gonna be Kenny, he's able to avoid the smoke, has that teammate support coming in from behind. They're trying to go over here towards E. They're trying to at least make that one neutral. 200 points have been broken by Optic Gaming. Yeah, but Optic spread out perfectly. They're in position to contest all those pushes. And we're gonna now see Echo Fox, three players dead. Five to two, Optic, four rounds in a row on Foundation. You love it. <laughs> are, you, are you a lip reader? Can you see what he's saying? I, I'm not a very good lip reader, but um, I mean, I don't think it's stuff that we can probably repeat on stream. I can tell you that much. So in that situation, like we said, we talked about, we saw the beginning of the rounds when there was no weapons on the map. That's where we saw Echo Fox had a lot of success. In that one, they played them close. I mean, it, did, it was a very, very close game. But now we go down to the weapon placements where everything that it seems to have been putting down here early in that first half 
it went in favor of OptiGame, but you're going to see the marks does. They're going to be placed down over there towards the Welding and Fountains. Yeah, marks are for Kyle, so we, we know what he can do with it, but if he picks it up, he has to be impactful in the round. You know, he, he has huge potential with that weapon, but we talk about it so often. I mean, if you get that weapon in your hands, it's what you want to play for, and, and you don't do anything with it, it's kind of a waste. As you can see, the gaming, they're going to completely go ahead and ditch the marks. So, as you said, Kyle is going to be the player to pick that one up on the side of Echo Fox. Without the gaming, putting a lot of emphasis down here towards the middle, but Nike starts to see the rotation going back there towards the home hill. Explosive is going to fall, but you're going to have Mental. He's applying the added support, so Explosive should be able to tap himself up over here towards this position. Now, it's going to be a pinch working out here. It's going to be icy. He's able to find Solars there. Toy Soldier takes out Summon, so just going to be one player dead apiece from either side as Icy is pushed through middle map, and he's going to go ahead and take F Hill. In, uh, in rare footage of Mental with a Lancer actually in his hand. I mean, how often do we have to? He does use it, but most of the time it's double kills, triple kills with the shotgun. Two health to one, Echo Fox now. They're in control. Let's see if they can hold the advantage like Optic did last round. Big, big round. It could be way out of hand here if Optic wins one more, and that's a start. Explosive with the kill on Fran. Now rotating down towards close, over to open. Echo Fox wants to play for home, as it looks like. Let's see what Explosive can do here as he rotates around. Needs to be called out. Toy is going to call him out. He's going to see him. Gets across. Great job. Marks the shots. You heard him come in. They do neutralize him. So see Toy now pushing on forward. The smoke screen is going to be down. Two players from Optic Gaming going to be positioned over here towards the back box. It's going to be Mental, the first player to try to engage inside. He is going to end up falling. Summit's going to be able to find one. Praise is going to fall there as well. Four dead on the side of Echo Fox. Fran, the last player up as Kyle now will finally join him off the respawn. They're going to be over here towards the E Hill. Echo Fox, they do have that two hill control here as well. Indeed they do, and almost doubling up Optic here in the points. Miss roll again, we're seeing a lot of miss rolls this map, Dirk. But Kyle still gonna survive that with his life. Praise picks up the marks and now double down coming out here. Let's see who gets the kills. Kyle picks up the one. Looking for the double, gonna revive his teammate. 2v2 on statue. Big moment in this round. 119 and counting for Echo Fox. Kyle pushing forward. Toy with the first kill on mental. Now a 2v2. 3v2 actually as rotations coming over Mecco Fox. I like what they're doing here, using their numbers properly. Icy gonna get zoned out. He gets taken down as well. Well, that's a scary sight too if you rock the game. Your backs are literally against the wall. You're pinned in between statue and that back side of the map. And there's Lancer Fire coming in from both sides. You have shotgun players in a position as well. And Echo Fox have been doing an excellent job this entirety of the round, holding down E and holding down F. And they still have that one again. It's gonna be praised now with that marcher in hand for the side of Echo Fox. So they're going with that two hill setup. So we'll see what Icy does here over towards. It looks like he's gonna be rotating to go through middle towards the E hill. And it looked like Echo wanted to pressure the home hill even though they had a two hill cap. So the question is here, are they gonna get over aggressive? It's gonna be one and now two dead for Echo Fox. Optic Gaming already beginning to move on that split push here. Mental in position goes down. Marks the shots are gonna be, be crucial for summons here. Praise and company backing up. It's gonna take one push from Optic Gaming here on the home hill to contest this round. Definitely is, so you can see Explosive, he's gonna be going on forward. Now he's gonna be left in a one versus one here with Fran as well. He does get a touch onto the hill. Explosive gonna take the fight. Fran comes out there on top as well, and that should be it. It should be Echo Fox taking this round. Great job holding their ground, and they had the numbers, and they used it wisely. Ooh, Franchise getting hyped. I can hear him way over here in the back. I, I'm not gonna repeat what he said again, but he is getting into the game. I love seeing that. I mean, he's such a composed player, but you know, you get emotional sometimes, and I definitely agree uh, with that move. Oh, I love it so much. I definitely do. It's, it's got to be one of the, the best things about Gears of War, just the trash talk that does come with that one as well. So now you're going to start to see Opti Gaming again. It's going to be a boom shot play straight down and towards the middle of the map for OG. So we'll see if Echo Fox is going to be able to build off some momentum here and see if they can maybe get on top of those fights. We saw a lot of times Optic Gaming was getting that boom control when they placed it down in the first half. Yeah, 6-3 or 5-4. That is a gigantic swing for this matchup here. All about the initial. Boom shot is down like you mentioned. Icy going to play on that wide again. And here we go. Kills are going down. Fran with the first kill, playing off momentum. But a trade coming from Mental Fran with two. Mental with two. Back and forth we go. Kyle picks up one as well. Three dead for Optic Gaming. Icy trying to get zoned out here. Holding his shot though. And Toy shuts him down. Echo Fox with boom shot in their hands. Four players dead for Optic. Will Lee be able to capitalize? 
most definitely see if they're going to be able to. Summons is going to be the next player to fall. It's explosive. It goes over here towards that. F Hill picks up the mark. So shots are going to be tagged down. So he's going to know inside of where a couple of players are, but you can start to see through the X ray. Echo Fox are going to be rotating here through that middle map to try to get that defensive setup going over towards Statue. So now instead of going for the both of those homes, it looks like they're going to try to get something set up here towards that D and E side. Now the question is for Optic Gaming, which side do you want to break? Do you want to go straight towards E or you or yourself? Are you going to try to go forward and get that double in the home hill setup? You can see Toy wins an engagement there, but Kyle's going to take out his teammate in that process with the boom shot. A big, big team kill there as Brand does fall as well. Two down dead. But Echo Fox, explosive, getting called out immediately. Does have that marks in his hand, but in a, in a bad spot. He can't really move here and not going to be able to support his teammates on the other side. Kyle moving around. Kyle now back to statue. Boom shot on his back. He did kill his teammate, though. That was a big, big misstep for them. Definitely was, but Kyle's going to get the nice move there. He's going to be able to take out Icy with that wall bounce. So now coming in for the pinch. They should be able to trade this one out, but Mental's going to be there to revive his foreign teammate summons. As now you start to see the kills are going to go down. Three dead from either side of these teams. Toy Mental, the last player's left up here. It's going to be Mental, full red. Toy just needs to try to hit one more. Still able to get away with his life. As I can see, Toy, he's going to go ahead and back up towards the stairs here. Smoke's going to go out, though. And now more Lancer shots are going to be coming down from middle map as well from right behind Mental. Wow, look at the distance gained by Mental. Somehow stays alive there. Teammate support comes in. Great play for him. Look at the lead, though, Dirk. 124 to 91. Echo Fox again with a stranglehold on this round. And it's up to them now to see if they can hold it. You can see every single time they try to revive Icy, he gets up, and then they're just going to be able to get the Lancer Fires. It puts him straight back down into the ground. Razor's just trying to be a nuisance there for that time being, but now it's going to be Icy. He's going to be closing the angle there on Praised up top. But meanwhile, we have an engagement going down here towards the map. It's going to be explosive. Solar's explosive. It's going to end up falling. Solar's going to be able to find the kill there as well. Now three dead for OG, and more importantly, it is going to be Solar's retrieving that boom shot for the side of Echo Fox. Should be 100% Echo Fox round. No way they should lose this round. If they do, that could be tilting, but five to three. And the Fox, I like what they're doing here. They're getting the weapons, they're getting the numbers. Mental's gonna go down as well. Isolated again. Swords with a kill, praise with a kill. Kyle, one of his own, four dead for Optic. And here comes Echo Fox roaring back in map number one. Yep, you see the Lancer shots. The player is gonna fall. Echo Fox in a big way bounces back again. You can see the swagger, the trash talk coming in from the side of Echo Fox. But we talked about it at the beginning. Optic Gaming, they're able to force Echo Fox since he's one versus threes. You're now starting to see more of a stack. And they're kind of putting Optic Gaming in this situation. No, it's not one versus threes, but it's still two versus threes. They're having that man advantage, but you're seeing so much crossfire able to catch these Optic Gaming players out in those wrong times. And Echo Fox, they're closing the door, not closing the door, but they're closing the gap, so to speak. Four to five currently as it stands, Optic Gaming still with that one round advantage. Yeah, it took a little bit for Echo Fox to kind of get, their, get their feet under them. You know, slow start, they're coming in cold. Optic coming in hot, but now it looks like they're ready to play, contest, and make a game out of this. Five to four, swing round potentially coming here. If Optic can pull this out, down to open once again. Mental the first down there. Mental's full red. Mental's gonna go down. Praise trying to contest it, trying to get that kill. Say, uh, Fran and Solar's there as well, so they do take down Mental. A big threat. Kenny falls as well. Echo Fox with the kills. They're gonna play for Boom Shot, and they're gonna play for this round again. Icy doing all he can with that Lancer, but he'll get behind that pillar just in time. Echo Fox, amazing job with that initial. Most definitely. I mean, you just saw right off the rip what they were able to do, and it's going to be Icy with a long shot in hand, takes the first shot. Is it going to be able to connect? But meanwhile, you're going to see Praise Kyle. They pick up two kills, and now Kyle is going to pick up that Marksa as well to try to play that home hill, but Mental with a nice move is going to be able to find Solars there. But Fran, here it comes with the boom shot. He's able to take him out. So now D. It's going to be a little bit of contest fest, but Optic Gaming does get the last laugh over towards that side. They do take E, and they as well, they have D in this situation. So Echo Fox only left for their home hill F. Initial one by Echo Fox as well as Boom Shot, but it's Optic Gaming with the advantage somehow. Five to four in rounds and two hills to one here. Icy with that sniper we saw what he did earlier, looking to peel a couple more dumbs back. Kyle in his scope as well as Toy. Waiting for the first, against the first shot on Kyle! That's one! Mark it on the board. And it just sucks too, because when you know a guy like I see when he does have that long shot, you don't really have a, you don't have a long window at all to even just to try to peek up. So if you're even sit up there for more than a second, that's just going to leave an opening. I see trying to one one up with I see. Toy tries to go with a nice move, and I see has none of that one. Back to back headshots. The marksman of the side of Optic Gaming. As now things start to calm down here a little bit. Optic Gaming, they're trying to establish that map presence. Make it, it three. again! Oh my goodness. Icy, Icy going huge here. He's going to be able to get the shot down there. Shotguns out. Icy, four kills in a row. 
Look at that, he says no to the side of Echo Fox going huge. Top tables is his right now. He gets a shot on there in the rotation. I believe that did actually hit the player as well. Yeah, but look at numbers are not in their favor right now. So Icy might have to make another big play here. Looking for his fourth snipe of the round. Not gonna get on Fran. Fran contesting what he's pushing into Icy, making him take those shots and waste it. But Icy with the shotgun holding the shot gets one. Solar's pushing up, gets two. They're pushing to Icy, and he is telling them, you are not pushing me on this day, my friend. Six kills in a row for Icy now, and the shot comes in there through the smoke. So that player is gonna be down. That is gonna be Kyle. It's gonna be the boom shot picked up once more from the side of Optic Gaming. Marksa is gonna be in the hands there of Toy. He's gonna to be watching down towards the Pistons, over towards T, just trying to catch anybody in the rotation. Now I see the headshots are great, but he's also got like four or five downs this round just from that alone. Explosive boom shot picked up. Optic Gaming with that hill control, and I don't see a way Echo Fox can get in here. They have completely controlled this map. Now Brand's trying his best. Chainsaws are coming out. Franchise was a solo man, and now he is split in half by Optic Gaming, 207, all she wrote, six to four. This is it, Optic Gaming just one round away from taking map number one against Echo Fox here in this one. As you can see, just a back and forth affair coming in from Fran. Let me, let me translate, what were you Ice saying, well. Fran? Talk to me, talk to me. He took the headphone off and said, uh, what are you saying? Is that, uh, can you repeat that again? As you can see, like we said, Optic Gaming just one round away from taking map number one. As you see, Echo Fox, what are they going to do over towards here? It looks like they're going to keep up with the block and Pistons, and that is for sure what they're going to lock in. Yeah, I mean, they won the boom shot, but I see. I mean, sniper rifle. It, 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 it's, a, it's a thing where you pick it up, you don't hit your shots, you know, boom shot in your control. It could have been Echo Fox round, but did he ever make an impact with that weapon on that round? I mean, he completely changed the, the face of that round. So as you see, uh, the IC going over there towards that launch. Once more, but again, we saw Echo Fox able to do. And now it's going to be Optic Gaming replicating exactly what the side of Echo Fox did. Getting that control down here towards the bottom pillars. As you can see, Mental is going to be the player outside of the smoke. One decides to push on through, but now he's going to go ahead. They're forcing their isolated to a soldier in the situation. But here comes Rage for the support. He's going to be able to find the kill there. Picks up the meat shield. And that was going to be the IC left up over here towards the E Hill. Trying to rotate down here towards middle. But right now he's pinned in between every single player that Echo Fox has on the map. Yeah, and can he die? with Boom shot out on the initial, so it's gonna be players falling for Optic. Triple cap coming in, marks the shots are hitting explosive. Echo Fox looking to bring it back here. Six to four, make it six to five. A quick, quick round victory for them. Beautiful answer for that team. I mean, take a breath for a second. This is amazing, amazing first map. I mean, you're seeing just too, like the impact that the long shot has had. I mean, we saw Icy when he had that. They were able to dictate the tempo the entire map. That's when they ended up winning the round. In that situation, it was a very quick round, but Toy was able to make a, a significant impact over towards that side. And it really came down to it where Optic Gaming was trying to isolate him, but then he had that teammate support coming in from Praise. They were able to win those trades, and then they came out on top. Now we move into the 22nd respawn here at the Fox, one round away from forcing that last round here. Escalation on the foundation. We're gonna go ahead and kick this one off with a fight going over here towards E. We're gonna be on board with Ice. Boom shot is gone, so no more playing for that boom shot. Incense will be dropped down in its place. Ice be playing passive as well as teammates. Fran and Toy trying to contest. Kyle picks up Marks. The Solar is gonna be the first to fall on the map. So good start for Optic. Two to one advantage now on the kill scout. Raise it back up. Summons kills France with three dead for Echo Fox off the initial. Not what you want to see. Praise though, answers back. Need to have it. And a headshot from Icy. No surprise there. Make it five in the last three rounds for him. Magician in his own form with that long shot as Icy. And you brought up just the instants going in. Place the it's exactly the same thing that happened that first half as well. But Optic Gaming, they're trying to close it out here. You do have a few players from the side of Echo Fox to make that happen. You see Icy doing that damage. Was able to get one more player down. But he is going to find himself up. Now with the one versus three, Summons is going to end up falling. Never Icy again from range. He's going to be able to get the headshot. But now the smoke is going to be there. Now he has to try to get this one through the smoke. Did spot a few more players and kind of got that general idea. They're either going to be over towards fountains or they're going to be trying to overextend and go through that piston side but they know they cannot peak icy here in these situations with the toy he's closing down the anger right now with the lantern on the tree listen i love you all though but you keep that camera right here you don't move that camera until it's over icy on an amazing run with sniper still alive playing for his life as well we see a rotation from echo fox pushing for the double home hills now and they, and they know where icy's at the question is can they kill him can they ice them good start for kyle pick up the kill on summons here comes icy holding the sniper shots He's full red and finally Icy does fall, so a great job by Echo Fox. That's gonna be three dead for Optic Gaming. Echo trying to make this a 6-6 game. 
potentially coming up here. Mentham with one, he needs a double here. It would be big and he does come out with it. Saving that round for Optic Gaming. This definitely does, it's still a close game, but now you see a turn of the tide, it's gonna be Echo Fox. ENF in their control, Explosive makes the play coming here from Pistons. So now he's gonna come up here towards the effort as well. It's gonna be a one versus one. Mark says gonna be out, does that damage. Look how weak he's gonna be being praised. He chases the kill there. Mental is gonna be the next player to try to follow this one up. And now you have Lantern Fire coming in from both sides here. Icy is gonna pick up the instance towards that middle side of the map. And Mental is gonna be able to find the kill. So they're forcing Echo Fox back into their spot. Still, Echo Fox are holding to no. the have D. The have E there as well. But the Kobe across map from Icy. This man can do it all. Long shot, in sins, it doesn't matter. John Elway in the flesh here with that toss. Icy using everything he can use on the map to give them the advantage. Six to five out of the game and one more round to close it out. Points are not that far away, but for Echo Fox here, you gotta get some kills. Icy taunting them, waiting for them to come into the hill. And here we go, the fight's going down, support coming from the side, Toy does fall. Great job holding your shot, and here comes Icy now. The disrespect here on Sunday. Out. Things are looking real good for Optic here. Echo Fox has to put some kills together, but maybe not enough time to do it. It starts with Fran in the 1v1. Straight for straight. Shot for shot. Melee does take him down. One last chance for Echo Fox here to come back. Let's see what they're going to be able to do as the stand score 187 for the side of Optic Gaming. If you're Echo Fox, you need to have that sense of urgency, but there will be three down from the side of OG. As you can see, the pinch, it's now starting to form from the side of Echo Fox. Mental, is he going to be able to get the spot out on this player? It's going to be Icy down low. He's going to go ahead and backtrack. This is still possible. All they need to do is they need to get this hill neutral. They're going to be able to take an Icy, and that's the opening right there. Mental holds on strong, but is that going to be enough? No, it is not. And then they were able to win a lot of those initials. You can see that the gunfights are going their way, and that's going to be one of my biggest things. But once it comes down to the weapon placements, that's where it starts to get scary, and that's where it automatically just put Optic Gaming in the driver's seat no matter what goes down. You see the boom, it went down the second round every single time when Optic Gaming had it, and then that's when it just really starts to fizzle off inside of Echo Fox. All right, loading in here, Forge Blitz will be the map. We're gonna see Control Tower play off the oh, They'll send their best layers up top to try and get that first round on the board. Optic Gaming, Echo Fox, fans here for both teams, and they wanna see their team move on and eliminate the other, again, Optic Gaming in unfamiliar territory. Echo Fox would love to be the team to shut them down. Yeah, Echo Fox with their backs against the wall, but Optic Gaming, your five-time champions, trying to stay alive here in the loser's bracket. They find themselves up 1-0, but can Echo Fox bounce back to force that map number three? We're kicking it off with that control tower fight, and you can see it's gonna be Praise leading the charge for Echo Fox. Praise and Solar, a formidable duo, but Kenny and Mental, no slouch of their own. Their Mental immediately takes that position, and it's gonna be a for Optic here. And now Echo Fox is going to try to push in there. Explodes it with the first kill around. Kyle will fall there. Mental, great Lancer shot. Now back to the shotgun. Toy in the other side of the map. They're going to put pressure. One kill, now two kills for Mental. So there we go. Initial fight won by Optic Gaming. And definitely, definitely some pressure being applied here as well on the other side of the map. Yep. We'll be toward the next player to drop it. Uh, the first round of the session, you're going to see these short respawn timers there as well, so it's going to be pretty easy to try to play that defense. So what you're going to see from Echo Fox right now is that they're just going to have to go back. They're going to play that A defense. You know that Optic Gaming, they're going to be putting heavy pressure over towards the side. You can see the smoke's out, and it's going to be mental inside the hill just to try to get that one neutral, but it will be Kyle and Praise finding a big two kills to try to make this defensive stand. You can see Fran, he's starting to rotate out, going towards that middle map, but now it's going to be an Echo Fox sandwich coming on in. Three players, actually, are going to be able to isolate the one guy over there that's going to be mental. Mental taken down. I see with a kill though, so nice answer from Echo Fox there. Mental and company not able to rotate onto the hill and put enough pressure. Kyle now with one. Kyle with two. He's going to get the revive as well, so big plays from him. Franchise as well with a kill there, so a good, good answer from Echo Fox here. Now they're going to rotate over and see if they can get some home hill control here. Mental already off respawn, tossing the smoke up. Praise pushes up, gets the kill. Solar's at one as well. Echo Fox pushing forward here, applying the pressure in the first round. They got one. Can they get the final kills here to close it out? That could be denied for the time being. Players just doing an excellent job of being a nuisance. It was going to be Kyle stunned there by the smoke, and now Explosive goes for the dive. He comes on inside, but now it is going to be denied there for the time being, but Optic Gaming, no way they're going to be able to fight through that wall of Echo Fox players. They're going to get off to a hot start here and get round number one on the board. Quick turnaround there. We saw Optic in control, Echo, Optic, Echo, and then at the end, Echo a little bit too much control there, and they close that round out. Here we go. M-Bar is going up top. I, I can feel it in my bones. I feel how it... It's gonna happen. Let's see if you're picking my lottery ticket later tonight. Well, we got that torque boat. Torque boat's a good one too. I mean, again, the height advantage of control tower, not a bad pick either. So, like I said, torque bow. I said it right from the start. Torque bow for 100%. I agree. 
I, I know you did. I, I believe you. you don't have to tell me twice. So it is going to be the torque ball placed up there in towards that control tower. Respawn timer is now going to be set at 12 seconds. So now that control tower fight becomes even more important. Last time around, we saw Optic Gaming coming out on top of Echo Fox. They were with the bounce back in a big win at defensive stand over towards A, and they were able to get that defense and come out with that round with. You can see already it's going to be praised. Trying to close down the angles over here up top, and it will be mental right on that other side. But you can see the paint that's already forming for the side of Echo Fox right now. Optic playing a little bit closer to each other up top. So is in praise. Opting to play it more passive. And it looks like it's going to work out for them. Uh, Kenny's going to be left alive up top. 2v1 for Echo Fox. They cross him out. Great job there again. Keeping their distance and using their weapons to get that down. Now, can they apply pressure? Solars with the torque bow. Let's see what we can do with it. Waiting for any kind of glimmer of hope to pop that shot. Players just going to be isolated towards that back side. And Waldo brought it up. You're going to see maybe some double hall hill setups right now. And that's what you're going to see over here towards A and C. Not going to take that shot. Um, down player and a smart one at that. But now you're going to see, see Mental pushing up here. Will the smoke go out? Is Solar going to spawn him? That's going to be one of the big things. Smoke is going to be out. Is it going to be able to stun Solar? Is able to get away just in time before that one did end up popping? Now Mental is going to have that top control. But more importantly, Solar, he still has that torque bow. Shot's going to go down. He's going to be able to find the kill there on Explosive as well. Shot with the torque bow there, looking for a second kill, and they're not going to get any shot off. They're going to hold it one more time, gets a turn shot on Kenny, but not going to get the kill. 76 71, close, close round here, Dirk. Much closer. Well, not much closer, but you know, a longer round than we saw in the first round. It's definitely good to see Metal just holding strong up here. You're going to see the dual lancer card coming in for both players of the side of Optic Gaming. I was just trying to peek down, see if anybody's going to try to make that play over there. The incinerator is going to go on, so it's going to force those players out towards that side. So Franz is going to be able to get away with his life, as well as Toy is going to be joining him over there towards that fight. But now here comes the shots up top, and you're right, immediately, you're going to see why this is so important. When you have that B-Hill, just even trying to get a neutral is going to be a tough task when you have somebody with a Lancer up here in top control. Yeah, I mean, great job with the Lancer there, but you also have to have your teammates putting in fire as well. We, we see time and time again, teams up top have that control, they Lancer down, but ultimately their teammates are not able to support them and clean up those kills. So not Nothing happening just yet though. Five up for each team. Praise looking for the kill on Icy. Sees them in his sights. Two more players from off the gaming there as well. Not able to push forward. The Fox though with the advantage now. They're gonna come back in points and here's a shot from Praise. Not gonna get the chunk there. I thought he should have that one. And now Icy gets one. Praise still there is gonna get one. Looking for the double but not gonna be today. As Icy and Explosive gonna be there. Shut down Explosive now with the double. And off the gaming keeps control this round. Up to do a mental. She's just been sitting up here in this position. And Solar's been the player just trying to be a nuisance. The torque is going to be up, but now it's the pinch. Explosive does get some shots down, so the damage is going to be done. Gets another one in. Solar's trying to do the best to play his life, trying to waste as much time as possible. But it was going to be mental with the drop, explosive with the kill, and now torque ball control in favor of Optic Game. Mental with it in his hand, 181 to 177. They're going to hit B as well, so they'll force him out of that area. Off the game, holding control. They have pretty good positioning as well for Echo Fox. Going to take a lot of work here to get across this map in time to decap and contest. Fran is first to the B hill. He'll decap it, and now he wants to maybe push forward for A, realizing they got to have both. Good job by Praise there. They need to get a touch here, and they're not going to get it. Off the game, he holds strong, and they're going to win the second round. Going back into the earlier play too, you finally started to see, I mean, you throw a smoke down up there to top control, nobody can look down. You're gonna be able to get those cross, you're not gonna be able to get any sort of intel. You saw it right there towards the end with Echo Fox, and Mental was in that position, I mean, with the torque bow, not the longest, but he had top control with that Lancer, so you wanna kinda see Echo Fox try to pull that out early. Try to get that so you can go, if you wanna maybe overextend, go over towards A and get that double helm set up, it's gonna allow you to there as well, but Optic Gaming, tie things up here at one piece. And like we said, this is going to be a back and forth affair. I feel like this is map three written all over it. To be completely honest with you, after seeing that map one here, map two. I'll go with you. I'll go with you on that one. We'll, we'll see here. Kyle, once again, marks his place down. And that's really Echo Fox's. That's their, their favorite placement. We're talking about support weapons. They like Boltox too, but most likely they'll put down marks it. So again, let's see what they can do with it here. Nothing happening just yet. One hill apiece. Fight still going down up top. Mental in position. Kenny with the first kill. He gets taken down, but Mental right there to maybe help his team out, putting in some good shots. Not going to save him, though. 1v1 now. Praise, Mental, Mental, pushing the issue on Praise, rotating around. Fran with the kill off screen. And there's still be a long drawn out here, 1v1 up top. 
holding their breaths right now to see how this one does go. Both players just trying to play with each other. As soon as one tries to make that progress, the other one goes on the other side of the wall to try to get in towards that cover. And I can start to see the Lance is going to be out. Praise going to be able to hit the shot. And just a little bit of damage on Mental. You got to be careful, though, because if you're losing the numbers down low here, then it's going to force this fight. And, you know, Mental would be out of position. We see there it is. Two players there for Optic Gaming. So now if you're Praise, you can take this opportunity. Take that 1v1 and then try to push the home hill of Optic Gaming. Kenny waiting for the shot. He gets it perfectly. And he baited out that shot there. And great play by him now. 2v1 up top, Mental. He's been in a lot of 2v1s before and a lot of victories. Let's see if he can do it one more time. Gonna get the down, but not gonna get the second of Solars. And Braze do get that kill on him. Two hill to one advantage for Echo Fox. Solars with the torque bow. Could be real good for them here in round number three. Kenny bounce with the headshot, but is it enough? throughout the game. It was only a matter of time before somebody up there in that one versus one had that teammate support and all of a sudden it ended up in that two versus one as well. But now you can start to see three players dead on the side of Optic Gaming, one dead on the side of Echo Fox as he does pop up there off the spawn. But you can start to see Sullers is still out trying to do as much damage. He is going to get the call there on Summons. Over here towards the pillars, more shots are going to be going down. The player tagging him up from behind there as well. Mental's going to fall on the other side of the map. Fran's going to be able to clean up that kill. And now Icy, he's trying to do his best to stay alive. He finds a kill there on Praise. He's finally going to go down. Kenny, the next player, is trying to challenge this. Solar's going to come in with that torque bow. Finds a kill there on Icy, but you can breathe a little bit if you're Optic Gaming. You still do have C, and you are capping B as well. Solar is going to contest, though, at least for the moment. Kenny's full red. He does have players off respawn behind him. Solar's still there. Toy gets the kill off screen. Off the game, and get their home hill back, but look at A and B now going the way of Echo Fox and the lead as well. Pressure on Optic to come back here and contest these hills, and let's see if they can do it here. It's Kenny still by the home hill, now rotating out. Spots Fran, putting in great Lancer shots, getting the advantage early on. Fran gonna wait around that corner, up A, not good for Kenny. Still in the fight though, Franchise looking for one shot, and one shot comes from Kenny. Finds a kill there on Fran as well as everything is going down by the incinerator. But it's going to be praised over here towards the middle. Is going to be joined there by Kyle in that fight. But Solar's still making an impact with that torque boat there as well. He found himself a kill. Finally, that's going to fall. But Optic Gaming trying to come in here with the domination. But it's going to be left up to Kyle to try to fight off explosives here. He's going to be able to get this one in his favor. And Kyle with a nice shot there on explosives. I like his movement there. I like his distance. Waited for the right moment to strike. And strike he did indeed. One to one, Optic Gaming, Echo Fox, map number two. Numbers are falling for Optic. 173, Echo Fox wins off one hiller. Can they control it? Mental lancering out. He's gonna get one down, but a revive coming out for Echo Fox. Time is running out, Dirk. You hear the tolls are ringing already. Will it be enough time for Optic to come back? One hill apiece. Optic Gaming needs to try to make that play. They need to go forward and make sure they neutralize that A hill. Echo Fox currently has control. It's going to be Sultan trying to make the play here in this situation. Toy's going to be the first player inside, but that is going to be all she wrote here in this round. It's going to be Echo Fox going up 2-1. to one. And a great job, Echo Fox, holding their advantage there. 2-1 to one now. You know, we saw this in the first map. It went back and forth for a little bit. Optic got a few rounds in a row. Echo Fox came back, and then Optic ultimately pulled away in the end. But over on the Echo Fox side, three players in double-digit kills already. Only three rounds into the game. So we'll see what Optic Gaming, in your opinion, if you're Optic Gaming right now, you're going to drop this weapon and maybe you're trying to go? Well, I was going to say, I was going to ask <laughs> your prediction what to do, but they locked that one in, so it's going to be the incense placed in the incinerator. Not a bad placement. Nothing crazy. No need for it just yet. And pretty close round so far. 12 kills for Kyle, 10 for Fran, 13 for Praise, but only three for Toy at the moment. Still, though, two to one Echo Fox. Enough to uh, give them the lead. We're able to, always able to turn around here, but we have to right now. Echo Fox, they are sitting pretty with that lead, but now the fights are going to go down up top again. You can start to see the aggression that they are putting down. It's going to be Sellers going around. Players playing a little loop de loop action over here towards the top control. Kenny, he's going to have that miss roll, and they're going to make him pay right there. Sellers is going to be able to find the kill, and again, Mental, he's going to be left up here in this one versus two. Sellers trying to fly it wide. You can start to see Praise. He's trying to come in there for that pinch as well, but Mental doing an excellent job of playing his life. But during this whole thing, this fight's going down up top. It's going to be Echo Fox trying to go for that domination. It's going to be locked in as well. Two rounds in a row for Echo Fox. Yeah, we see that time and time again on this map. Mental caught out on an island. Echo Fox recognizing that, isolating him, and smartly making that push for the trip cap. Three to one, Echo Fox. Now they're in the driver's seat, Dirk. Here's a chance for Optic Gaming now to put something big down, and something big they do place down. Boom shot in the middle. The boom shot, torque bow, explosions all around. 
Again, now four players for Echo Fox in double digit kills. Nobody just yet for Optic Gaming. I see explosive right on the cusp. But, uh, you know, definitely, definitely Echo Fox out slaying Optic right now. Not something you see often. Yeah, the, the boom shot obviously just being put down there to try to take a little bit more aggro away from up in that top control tower. It's good. Optic Gaming have been losing these 1v1s every single time. So now on top, you're going to have Praised and Kenny going at it. And then you're going to have that boom shot down towards B. As you see the team fight, it starts to ensue right now. It's going to be Summons getting a beat wet in the action right here off the rip. It's going to be Solar's finding the first one, Solar's finding the second one as well. Yeah, great start for the round. Boom shot still down. Solar's not ready to pick up just yet. You want to clear the area first. And pistol shot might just help to lead down that player. Boom shot can be going control of Echo Fox. Meant, uh, Kenny on top looking to fight, but it's not going to be Echo Fox coming out strong. It's going to be four to one now here on Forge Blitz. Answering back, Dirk, exactly what they needed to do. You can hear the crowd getting behind them there as well in three rounds in a row. I and mean, you saw the strategy optic gaming tried to go there with that boom shot being put down over there towards B, but it's just again. Echo Fox are able to get that top control, and even if they get the Turk Bow, it's just they're putting so much into that fight up in top for the side of Optic Gaming, while everything else on the map is still going, but they're just so focused on that 1v1 or that 1v2, and just the side of Echo Fox are able to win all these key engagements. They're shooting for each other. It's exactly what you love to see here, and they're starting to run away with this match. And it's exactly what they need, too. I mean, a strong map here for Echo Fox. If they're able to win this, let's say 7-2 or something. If they're able to have a strong map, too, Going into map three, the momentum will be on their side. And damn, as a map, both these guys can play. And uh, maybe in round 13, who knows? Who knows, Dirk? Power security now to have what the pitch is blocked out. So much is going to be gone. Summons, he's going to be the first player inside. It will be the instant picked up there by Fran off the break. And it's going to be Solar finding himself a kill there. He's going to pick up the meat shield. Body of Summons trying to be the defense for him, but it's going to be the kill coming in there from Kai. He's going to be able to find that one explosive. He's going to be able to find the kill, but the trade's going in favor of the side of Echo Fox right here. Kenny left up. He's going to be able to get that kill, but he's not going to be able to get a touch on inside the hill. Echo Fox, five rounds here in map number two. Once again, isolated out there. Five to one Echo Fox. Kenny got the kill. Did not matter at the end. And what you're seeing, Dirk, on the initial here is Echo Fox is using their numbers properly. Stare down from Icy. Oh, my lord. That's, that's a scary man right there. I don't know what he's looking at, but hope it's not me. And this is the thing, too. It's not like these rounds are starting to be close. It's literally just Echo Fox within the first. Sometimes the rounds aren't even lasting a minute. That and, and round of 49 seconds. Yeah. They're quick rounds coming in from Echo Fox. And it's like a split-second decision, too. I mean, you have a three versus three going down there at boom shot. You know, you put two players on one side, one on the other. Who is rotating quicker? Who's making the proper pushes? Who's using their numbers properly? So far, Echo Fox doing an amazing job. Ran with the incense last round as well. So, Echo Fox looking to, again, I mean, this is not optic strong map. We knew this coming in. So, uh, no shock here, but definitely five to one. We thought it'd be a little bit closer. But here goes Optic Gaming. They're getting off to a good start here in the next round. Three kills already on the board for them. Summons pushing for a potential fourth. They'll get the down, they'll get the kill. Good start for Optic here, but again, short respawns. So no triple cap just yet for this team. They're not, but we're gonna have this top control over here, so we do have to push that button once it does come back. We go ahead and try to push those players off towards E. And it's one of the things when you have this top control, that's gonna enable you, okay, guys, we have control of the button. Let's go ahead and push on towards E. If we lose this fight, we can go ahead and pop that one. It's gonna force these players out there as well. So it goes hand in hand when you're trying to cap E and having that tower control. But now you're starting to see some life from Optic Gaming here in this round. They come off big off the initials. They're winning their engagements and they now have F and E in their control. Good start for Omdic. Even score pretty much though. Now we're seeing a little bit of a passive strat from both teams. Nobody wants to make that first push. Get taken out. Optic Gaming across the map. We see they have the middle control, that 50 yard line. And for Echo Fox, they gotta push and break that setup. Green wall set up properly. They gotta use your smoke here. Fran's the first one to throw a smoke, and now a second from the right side. Fran will go down though, so now two players are pushing from Echo Fox. Fran not gonna be able to help with that fight. Incinerator button not gonna be up just yet. Kyle pushing forward, shocking out though. I'd like to see him use a, a Lancer at least to put some damage in first. You'll see Explosive just trying to be a nuisance over here towards the boxes. Trying to hit the back A shot, not going to be able to. This is not going to be out just trying to do as much damage as possible. The crossfire is going to come in. Explosive is going to end up falling. Three players are now going to be dead from the side of Optic Gaming. I see. He finally does end up falling there towards Toys. So Kenny and Mental last players up, like I said, with these short, short respawns, they're gonna be able to come up on the spawn and try to make that play happen. But Solar takes the fight right to Kenny. He's gonna be able to find that first kill, and now it's gonna be Mental, the next line of attack for the side of Optic Gaming. He's gonna be able to take out Solar. Mental with positioning, but as that fight was going down, Echo Fox able to get E, but nobody pushing. There's Friend lying in wait for Mental. 
Echo Fox will come back on two hills here. The lead is closing for Optic Gaming. 145 and counting for Echo Fox. These are close, close rounds here now. The fundamentals, what you're seeing, it was again, we talked about Optic Gaming. They had that top tower control. They were able to take that E kill. Then you start to see they made it a priority to take out that player in top tower control. Somebody from Echo Fox, they got the Lancer up there. Then they took control of E. So, like we said, it does go hand in hand, but look at the neck and neck game for what we're seeing right now. And they us. have D, they have E. The big thing for here for Echo Fox, they have E. They also have button control. So, Optic Gaming cannot do anything on the E heal until they get Fran out of here. They're not going to get him out. He's instead going to take down Summon three dead for Optic Gaming. Things are looking good here for Echo Fox. The toll are the tolls are coming in one more time. And I think it's gonna be around for Echo Fox. They have four for 200. Not the gaming they need to try to get a move on now. But again, this is gonna put Echo Fox at map point to try to tie the series up here at one apiece. It's currently six to one. Look at how many rounds in a row Echo Fox have won. They have not looked back, but this is probably one of the longer rounds, but I feel like that was just because one of the reasons there's no weapons being put down right now. Yeah, and also mental. Five kills for Mental across seven rounds, so not even a kill per round for him. Usually he's stacking up one, two, three. He had 29 in that last match versus E United in that series. But something you don't see from him. The low, the low man on the team, too. Yes, we'll see if he's going to be able to pick that one up there as well. But I just love the adjustments that are coming in from Echo Fox. We're straight off the rip again. It's going to be Optic Gaming. They go with that boom shot over there towards the middle of the map. So we'll see how much that impacts the opening breaks here from either side. As you can still see through the X-ray, everything's going down. But it's going to be a Lancer battle coming in here over towards the incinerator. It's going to be Icy and Fran. You see the kills going down. Trades being going all the either side and explosive. He's going to end up getting that boom shot right there as well. But Mental, he's going to to find one there. Solar's going to find himself down. Kenny's going to end up falling as well. That that's going to be Praise adding that extra damage from up in top control while his teammates are going down, doing the dirty work with those shotguns. Summons trying to make this defensive stand over here towards D. As you can see, Echo Fox, the map progression they are making. They're starting to get very aggressive. They want to close it out here. Yeah, Toys in the fall there. So good job out the gaming. Coming off respawn, a good start for Echo Fox. Only one hill apiece, so nobody's going to get control of E just yet. And now it's Optic who wants to use their numbers. It looks like three players on that side of the map for them, only two for Echo Fox. Explosive rotating with Kenny. Situation now, it's Echo Fox who controls E. They control the button, praise up top, waiting for those players to push in. Smokes are going out, two kills for Echo Fox. And Optic Gaming cannot push in at that moment. They can't do anything, they have to rotate back. See, their teammates are losing the fights going down here towards this side. So it's going to find the kill. IC is now going to pop up there off the respawn, so six seconds away from Mental coming on up. You can start to see Echo Fox, that progress that they're making going on forward over here towards the power room. They're trying to go on forward. They're trying to go for this triple cap. You see Icy's going to be able to stop it just for a second. But now you start to see the kills going down. Summons a mental working side by side. Summons goes big there with that defensive hold to stop Echo Fox to force them back into their spawn. And now the attack is going to be going up there towards that top control. We see Summons. He's flying right now. Smoke is going to go out. They're going here for the pinch. Yeah, Toy heads for higher ground. He's still alive up top. Only momentarily, though, maybe as Optic Gaming pushing in. But Toy does get back to his teammates. Fran's off respawn, wants to help him out there. Damage being put in, got a bunch of help praise here as well. Echo Fox needs to hold these hills, needs to hold their ground, and they're doing just that. Praise puts in the first kill. Kenny up top, 2v1, he isolated out. Can they get him down? They will do just that. Echo Fox slaying out Optic yet again on this round. Six to one already, with a potential seven to one on the horizon. They can hold out here for another few seconds. Domination could now be coming in. It's going to be E. It's going to be neutral. And now it's going to be going in favor of the side of Echo Fox. And they're also going to have players over here towards D, but they're more important. They're just trying to slay out right now before they can try to get that hill control. But you can see Toy. He's going to fall out. He's going to revive his teammate. Kenny's going to be able to hit the shot. He finds praise. And now the boom shot is going to be picked up there from the side of Echo Fox as well. That's going to be in the hands of Kyle, but it will be explosive. Trying to find more. Three dead for OG once more. And three dead on the side of Echo Fox. As you can see, players scrambling, trying to figure out what they're going to do next. But it's going to be I see jumping through the window. Met by the boom there of Kyle. They got that control on EM. Curious to see if they have control tower control as well. I think they do. Without the gaming is coming off of respawn. They do. Two players from Optic pushing up. They got to get to that button and then they got to rotate properly from there. 160 and counting for Echo Box. Looking to close this out. Solars rotates back to his teammates. Fran, they're going to give up the button control, looks like. Now have to play for the one hill or maybe two hill cap. Let's see what they plan on doing now. Solars just up that one without the smoke is going to be out, so that's going to win these solars for trying to get into any sort of position. They start to rotate in here for security. Mental still holding down his line with that Lancer in hand, and that's going to open up the lane for Kenny to try to push forward to find a kill there on the brand as well. He pushed off forward to get no. the so he finds solars there as well. One more player on the home hill, he's going to fall. 
165, 203. Can Optic Gaming neutralize this hill quick enough? Last chance to touch. God touch a 207. They're not going to do it. Echo Fox going to get the win here. 7 to 1 on map number 2. And ladies and gentlemen, no surprise to you. We're going to map number 3. Six rounds in a row. Optic Gaming was unable to win that map as Echo Fox completely wiped them. I mean, Waldo, when you look at the numbers, through seven rounds, only two players on Optic Gaming had double digit kills. Well, it's because they isolated everybody up top, and they used the up top control fight to kind of allow Fran to rotate through the middle of the map. He ended up picking up incense. He ended up collapsing through. Icy wasn't really a factor in that situation just because of how they allocated the resources. It was a smart play by Echo Fox. They knew that they were crazy. Like they're, He's stuck up here. He's not going to be able to do this. They were able to run those quick triple caps, and they ended up winning. And when you look at dominant players in the game, I mean, people used to talk about Atmo being the best shotgun player of all time. Echo Fox looked like they had a few of those on their team. <laughs> I mean, you have Solars, you have Praise, even Franchise went off at times, and that's what we need to see. On map one, there was a, situ excuse me, there was a situation where Toy Soldier was scared to push a 1v1. Here, no, they were completely aggressive, and that's what we have to see from Echo Fox to win tiebreaker game. Yeah, and map number three, again, Dam coming up. This is a map that both these teams Every time they play it, it's so close. It comes down to one little rotation, one extra kill. We're not going to see a 7-1. I mean, I don't think we're seeing a 7-1. Um, and, you know, boom shot a lot of times is placed down in pit. Both teams can play for it. We know they can slay out. And what's going to happen here, I have no idea anymore. Uh, but I'm excited to see it. It's, I feel like just, this has round 13 written all over it. I feel like this is like the perfect way to end this matchup. Well, well, this match I, I kind of disagree, <laughs> man, <laughs> because when it comes to damn, I feel like we're going to get a big weapon here. We're going to get probably a boom shot. And when that happens, one team, they're going to steamroll through. Because if you catch heat on all of these initials, you're going to have a great chance at running through with this good map. But if we see boom shot, I'll tell you right now, if we see boom shot and say Optic or Echo, say they win a couple rounds in a row with boom shot, I want to see drop shot placed on the other side of the map to kind of offset it. Yeah, yes. I, want, I don't want to see, again, like Cleaner was saying before, don't keep doing the same thing over and over again if you get into that repetitiveness. Place that drop shot down, but uh, we might not see that anyway. I well, mean, I, I would like to see it. It might be a chess game. When you have players like Franchise and Explosives as in-game leaders, they know how to make those adjustments. If they're not winning on one side of the map, they'll force the fight on the other side to counteract that. Well, and the other thing that you have to take into account is Franchise plays alternate, so alternate gets a little bit faster, so they actually kind of have two front spawn players. because That's of the nerdy. So what ends up happening is Toy Soldier is going to be taking the front spawn, going to the baby steps and rotating and cutting through, and Franchise is going to be on top of the boom shot about the same same time that Mental's going to be there. And the question for you, have, have we ever seen Optic lose a map 7-1? to one? Have they ever lost that bad on a map? No, that, that was pretty bad. A live event. I don't think yeah. they ever have. Yeah, I feel like the momentum is definitely in Echo Fox's side. I want to see more slang. I want to see more aggressiveness because you can't let players like Red Icy and Summons catch you. Because once Summons catches he protecting the home hills and Icy is just running free, it's going to be looking slow for Echo Fox. So I want to see them start off aggressive and high. And definitely, you know, we said it the first game, they taunted Icy and Icy came up and now Icy hasn't been taunted at all. And so they had a terrible showing in the second map. And that's just like one of the scary things too, is that once you start to see these rounds consistently being taken, you can just see the different energy that Echo Fox just really brings to the table between the entire team and how well that they feed off each other. And at that point in time, you have Icy's quiet, you have Explosive who's quiet, the two guys that you really need to collectively gather and give them that delusional confidence going into it as well. So when you allow Echo Fox to take a few rounds, it does get scary. But same thing for Optic Gaming too. They start to take a couple. That's when you kind of sit there and you're inside of Echo Fox. Okay, we need some big play to happen. Now, when we talked about on this map specifically, these fights building up that momentum. How many times have we seen this event? And I know it's not the high class teams that we have here. Where's five dead off the initial? The teams aren't able to capitalize, but I think with these teams, that's going to be one of the big things, and that's the difference maker what's going to separate great from good. Get that five dead, that sense of urgency. Okay, let's start flying. Let's go for that triple cap right off the rip, or at least put yourself in a good position. With these two teams off the initial, I do feel like if you start to pick up that momentum, you're going to see them like, punish them greatly. They're not going to sit there and allow them to get any sort of defense coming up off the spot. Yes, this isn't a really big map. So once you win off of initial, you can go ahead and get that triple cap really fast. And the thing is, teams, if they're able to capitalize on that, you could end rounds in about, you know, two minutes, one minute. So it's going to be extremely important how rotations are played throughout this map. Yeah, and for Optic Gaming, you know, I'm pretty sure right now what they're telling each other is, don't worry about that map. We don't really play that map. It's not our strongest map. Of course, you don't want to lose it, and not in that fashion. But I'm pretty sure they know that that's not their map to play on. Now it's going to be damn a map they've won many, many times, even clutching up numerous times against, against uh, Echo Fox in round 13. We have never seen a situation before. Echo Fox going against Optic Gaming is not even a championship game. Guys, real quick, predictions. I'm going Optic. Optic Gaming, I'm sorry. They're just uh, 
too good in the clutch. They came out strong against EU United. They came out strong here. Again, they don't play that map forward blitz. I think they'll shake it off here. I'm going to say 7-5 Optic Gaming map 3. 7-5 Optic Gaming. Bold prediction. When to kick things off on the tiebreaker map on damn Optic Gaming against Echo Fox. Take it away. And this is where things get so intense. Loser goes home. Did we think we'll find ourselves in a situation where Optic Gaming will be down in the loser bracket? Taking on Echo Fox, a match that we're so used to seeing down in those grand finals here on Championship Sunday. As we said, loser goes home. Map number three is going to be underway. Escalation on Dam. We're going to kick things off here with Optic Gaming here off the initials. A, B, and C are going to be these hills. You can see the plat fight is going to be going down and over here towards the baby stairs. It will be icy. I see in position here, doing the test it looks like. And it looks like two players from Echo Fox are already pushing out wide, but someone's gonna shut that down right away. But B not being fought for just yet. Icy pick up the second kill for Optic Gaming this round, gonna meet his teammate there for a little bit of a high five. Well, they rotate out over to B now. Scram tries to push forward for a kill. Gonna get taken down there. Optic Gaming off to a good start here. And potentially a triple cap. The time is counting down. Kills are going up. Optic Gaming, not enough time though, as he will get decapped there. They get the last touch over there towards C, and as we said in the beginning, it's going to be so easy to, to regather yourself once you do die, push straight on forward to try to get that defense. And in that situation, you're just fighting for that touch. They got it. They got the touch, but they also got the kills. That's that big part. So now they can try to progress over here towards pumping and try to make something happen. The smokes are going to be out. This is going to force Mental all the way to the back side of the map with that planter. But now he's doing some excellent damage over here towards Toy and the crew. Yeah, I see with the kill as well. So good job of him. Three players for Echo Fox trying to go against four from Optic, but now a player does fall. It's explosive going down. Icy with the trade. Back and forth they go. Icy with two. Mental taken out, however, by Praise. Icy still a nuisance there. Not willing to die just yet. And he's still going to be alive with another kill on Praise. Optic Gaming. Seven kills for Icy already, and we're only just barely into this round. If there's one man that you want to go off, it is that man on your screen, Icy. You need him to bring that hype, to bring that momentum to the side of Optic Game. But we still have to talk about it, too. The slow performance of Mental in that last game, very uncharacteristic. If he's going to be able to turn it around here on Dam, pick up those kills, and go back to that slang that we're used to for seeing Optic Game, he should be able to take this one pretty easy. But as it stands right now, we're still here in this first round of Optic Game. They're building themselves up pretty nicely. Yeah, Icy's still there at B. Just waiting for the uh, players to push in explosive with a kill on Kyle. So Optic Gaming set up nicely here. I like what they're doing. Not doing anything crazy. We see a push out wide for Echo Fox. Now it's going to be Icy wants to rotate over and play for the home hill of Echo Fox. Actually, two players from Optic pushing over to Echo Fox's home hill. Mental on the respawn, actually, on the rotation. No hill. Going to be in control of Optic Gaming here right now. But it's going to be explosive. He opens things up there with the kill. Kyle is going to be able to trade out one there over towards Icy. Now something's going to be laying down that Lance of Fire tag up his teammate there just for a second. But Explosive, he's going to be able to push off through and find the kill there as well. But Optic Gaming, they're still not gathering any points here in this situation. Echo Fox is doing an excellent job. They're having those plays here. being nuisance over here towards the B Hill. That's all they need to do is just try to kill that time. But now it's going to be Optic Gaming. They're gathering that control. Echo Fox only has control of that one hill. But now it's going to be OG trying to push on forward here for the domination of the hills. And the domination is not even going to be needed here. One eight. 88 and counting for Optic Gaming. You have numbers. This is a very big map. They don't have time. It's, does that go Fox to push across there and get that cat? They're going to come off spawn, but it's not going to be enough here as Summons and Mental clean up three kills together. And it's going to be round number one to Optic Gaming. As you can see, like we said, you need that man to gather the team together to get hyped up. And so do sorry. we see the boom? Do we now see the boom, or do we wait maybe another round or two? See how it goes. Either going to be Mark says or boom, I think. So what they opt to go with here. Looks like their long shots uh, looking like it's going down, but or not, or flipping come through something else. I don't know. Torque bone. See, so trying to get a weapon there to try to play the range here from that top side of the map. It will be the torque bow drop there by Frank. All right. Well, fight will stay the same at B Hill then. I think I can test that and play for torque bow. Pretty open map here on Dam, so it's definitely a good placement for them. Fran with no kills in the first round, four for Kyle, but again, seven kills for Icy in one round. See how they're going to be able to bounce back here is Echo Fox. It's going to be the weapon of choice to go down. But like I said, on the initial, the same setup coming in there from 
both sides. You'll see someone's laying down that lantern. Ryla's gonna allow Icy to get the positioning over here towards the flat. And now they can start to get this crossfire in. But Smoke is gonna be down there over towards the ramp over by B as well. That's not gonna allow anybody to try and attack down those shots coming in from the distance, but it will be praised. He does have that torque bow in hand. You can see him loading it up, trying to line up a shot here on the OG players over across the distance. Yeah, weapon placed and weapon acquired. Praise now has the backpack of the mental pushing forward. And they're gonna get it down on Praise and Optic Gaming with a superior cross. Takes down two players for Echo Fox, and now a third does fall. So great job by them, isolating, and now a fourth mental back into the game. Five kills for a healthy amount of time last map, but he's already off to a good start. Four kills, and OG are flying. They're trying to go for the domination here. There's going to be a few players up, and that's going to be another quick round. That's going to be two in a row. Everybody up from the side of Optic Gaming. A 53-second round, and what a way to put emphasis on that. Two to zero, Optic Gaming here on map number three. Placement again in Echo Fox's favor. Franchise and company gonna talk it over. See what they wanna do here. I mean, Torpo, it's already, it's a good placement, but they got the weapon again, but they didn't use it to their advantage. Praise got down, then another player got down, and they got taken out ultimately by Optic. This is all credit too. I mean, as soon as he took the torque bow, there was a player from the side of Optic Gaming who just immediately closed down the angle and pinned him in towards the back. And then you brought it up as well. The lancer fire that was coming in from each and every way is as soon as that player got dropped, they got dropped again just because of how much damage they were doing. So they weren't able to get that out and try to do anything with it. No matter what, if they want to try to make that and over towards B, or if they want to try to maybe rotate somebody over towards A and then watch that cross over towards the middle map. Speaking of drop though, Dirk, drop shot is going down. So no boom shot this first half, but drop shot, Here's a weapon I do like as well. Icy now. Icy versus three across the way there for Echo Fox. Some more numbers for Echo Fox, at least in pit. Here comes the cut from Explosive. Echo Fox pushing forward. Icy gonna be full red. Explosive gets a successful push as he gets the first kill. Now two to one advantage for Optic Gaming. Now a two to two, so back and forth we go. Kenny and Mento gonna be there, and Kenny gets the double five dead for Echo Fox. Now you start to see they fly. The first player up is going to be Kyle. Following that one is going to be Fran, but you can see Kenny getting himself into position over here towards T. First drop shot's going to go down. They're able to evade that one. He is going to be stuck on the smoke. So now it's going to be Kyle pushing on forward, and they force Kenny back. So that's a good start for Echo Fox coming off the respawn. Yeah, but drop shot, I mean, he's going to bait his teammate there. Not going to get the kill. Push coming in on Kenny there. Explosive, meanwhile, has picked up Torbo. Kenny falls, explosive with a long range shot, and gets the kill on Braze across the map. Going long distance there. Is going to be able to make any sort of another impact with that one. Drop shot's going to come in. Trying to find solo share towards the back of the truck. Not going to be able to get it, but Explosive is going to be able to find a kill on Kyle. And now he's going to be able to tag up another one. Three kills in this round with the torque bow for Explosive and Optic Gaming. They're applying that aggression once more here over towards C. Players are going to be able to get a touch in on side for Echo Fox. One more player down. That is going to be it. Optic Gaming three rounds in a row in quick succession. Optic Gaming making a statement now, coming out strong here. We saw it against EU United. They got to a 3-0 lead versus them and just completely obliterated them after 11 kills for Icy, 10 for Explosive, two coming with that torque boat at the end of the round. For Echo Fox now, Dirk, I'm not sure what they can actually do here other than try to win those initials. You can see him trying to talk it over. So, so far, every single weapon that's been on the map has been placed by the side of Echo Fox. We saw the torque bow go down first, and then we saw the drop shot down towards Pit. And now it looks like they might be trying to go here to try to sway the fight over here towards Plant just a little bit more. Frags could be the weapon of choice locked in. They got to stop the bleeding right now. 3-0, it's enough. Time to come back here and win a round. Get yourself back in the game. Frags going to be in the middle now. So, torque bow, frags, and drop shot. Plenty to work with. How much does that impact the fight? I mean, it's something you gotta keep your eyes on and definitely watch out for and see who picks them up, but um, it's still gonna be a fight for drop and even torque bow. Toy Soldier and Praise are only one kill apiece through three rounds. Not what you wanna see from those guys. We're on the overhead map here. We see the numbers, they're going exactly the same way they went last round. Let's see how it turns out. Definitely will. So it's going to be Kenny. He's going to be hopping up here towards that flat. He's going to be able to get the angle on one, so he gets the kill on towards Solars. Frags are going to be picked up, though. Those are going to be in the hand of Boy, and he's going to be rotating all the way back around to try to get the pinch. But his teammates are doing an excellent job of getting his kill down in towards the pit. Kenny now trying to collapse in here through middle. Pistol's going to be out to try to add that extra damage. But now it's going to be a one versus two here for Kenny, trying to do his best to stay alive. He finds himself one kill in that process, but here comes the pistol from behind. He does end up falling. It's going to be explosive all the way over here towards the top side. He gets a free pick there on the torque bow. And you can't let Kenny get that kill, but he does get it. Now explosive again. Looking to get that aim off. That dead eye aim he had last round. Puts away now. Torque bow on his back. Shotgun out. Drop shot coming in. Explosive staying up. Teammates off the respawn. They'll get the revive. Now they'll get 
not the revive. It's Fran does take out explosive there. Echo Fox advantage right now. End drop shot. Toy with the long range shot. Icy though with a double kill. In the contest now. Hunting down a third player from Echo Fox. Icy pushing forward, holding his shot. Shut down by Kyle. Grenades do go off. No kill for them though. Two players up for Echo Fox. Only Kyle remains on that side. Kyle does get the chunk though. He'll go down right after Mental. Pushing forward. Smells blood in the water. Gets the one. Looking for two. Gets the two. Mental coming up big yet again for Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming have now taken back B, so they have C, they have B. You can start to see the positioning here on the map for the side of Optic Gaming. It's going to be explosive, getting a tag up on one player. Some shots are going to be going down there as well. He's going to be able to spot Solars over here towards the barrels. You see Wacko Fox has a mind. This is going to be out. Shots are going to be going down. Not going to be able to connect on anything, but you see Icy is going to be down the pit, watching that crossfire. You know these guys, they have that drop shot ready in mind for once that does spawn back up. You see how the fight does progress down low. It's going to be Icy. Trying to break red here for the side of Optic Gaming. Get some shots down. He's going to find himself full red, so just need to back out of the fight. Yeah, that first shot on Icy really neutralized him. Couldn't do much there. Kenny, though, picking up the kill. And now, triple cap coming in, but not just yet. A is not being capped up out just yet. They're now getting some kills here. Kyle off respawn. And he's going to get shut down there by Mental. So here comes Kyle again, though. With a kill on Mental, so. Back and forth we go. 110 to 96. Optic Gaming now with a lead in the kill department as well as the score. Echo Fox though with an opportunity here to get the down, drop shot picked up by Summons. Kyle with one, Kyle with two, a good start for Echo Fox. Nades no go there. Look at Summons play out wide now, rotating back. He has drop shot in his back pocket. Needs those marks from his teammates. And for Echo Fox, you gotta make sure you have eyes on him. Still gonna come in, no it is not. It will be Brando finding one. The drop shot's gonna force him off the hill just for the time being. But now as they move on closer, it's going to be three kills going way of Optic Gaming. Icy, the next player, does get a shot up, gets the down there as well, finds the kill. Four dead for Echo Fox, one more up. They're trying to contest here. It is going to be Toy Soldier trying to get away with his life. He's going to end up falling. So Optic Gaming bounce back in a big way. They take C, they go on forward, they take B here as well. Net and net game here in round number four. Kenny pushing up, maybe going for, no, going to fall back actually. They're going to hold the two, explosive with Torque Bow. They have the positioning, Dirk, and they have the weapons. Echo Fox, I mean, a, a giant uphill battle. This one. I don't know how they can do it. They're going to have to get lucky on a couple kills and a couple smoke placements. Explosive, though, just free kill lined up ahead of him, and he takes that shot, and he connects with the first torque bow. Crowd getting excited here as the countdown has begun. Two more seconds. It'll be all she wrote on this round for Echo Fox. The kills aren't coming out. The time is running out, and Optic Gaming wins their fourth round in a row on map number three. Wow, what an impressive start for them. And I'm thinking if I'm Echo Fox, I, I'm, I wish on the second half I don't want that torque to go down. I'm going to try to do something to try to counteract it just because that was the Echo Fox placement, but every single time you've seen Explosive, I think for the third round in a row now, he's been able to make that significant impact. But you can see what they have to go with over here towards the walkways. What are they going to put down? It looks like it's going to be the hammer burst in the back of the pickup trucks. Yeah, four to zero. I mean, again, you got to stop the bleeding now. It should have happened that round, but did not go through for Echo Fox. One to one in map count. Map number three, a lot on the line here. Still in loser's bracket, so whoever wins here is still has much more, uh, many more games to play. Look at the scoreboard though. Solar's toy, two kills apiece. Raised with three. Kyle really carrying the team now with 12 kills. That's not gonna be enough though against a slaying team like Optic who can do it pretty much at any time they choose. Right. Let's see, Toy's gonna throw out that smoke over there towards the baby steps. Now he pushes straight on through, so he does have that high control. And right on top of the frag, he's going to be explosive, lining up a shot there. Not doing that much damage, though. The kill is going to be going down and straight off the mat. It will be two dead from the side of Optic Gaming. Now make that three. Icy will be the next player to fall. Explosive. Last up, and the frag comes in. Toy finds the kill, and that's going to be five dead for Optic Gaming. And now Echo Fox, they need to capitalize on these players being down. Echo Fox on life support, but they found their pulse, it seems like, here in round number five. Triple cap coming out for them. One more chance for Kenny to get in, and he does get the touch. He gets a contest, and they're going to push out Echo Fox momentarily. Drop shot comes in, connects there by Fran. Echo Fox, though, two hills to zero. Do they want to keep applying pressure? It looks like they do. Players are coming in off respawn. Drop shot not going to connect there. Look at Summons, though. Summons in the back. He misses the first shot, not the second, though. Summons a one. Looking for Rinelli. He gets shut down. Mental, though, with an answer. So Optic Gaming doing a great job off the respawn, slaying out Echo Fox. Now two guys in the back of the truck. There's not enough room back there, boys, for both of you. This is Madness Optic Gaming. They're able to
to capitalize on the Echo Fox mistakes there. They come on the top and the engagements as well. As now you can start to see Explosive flying on forward, going to this double moment of setup, just trying to keep this one neutral for the time being. The smoke is going to be out. Trying to utilize that movement, trying to go around, but it will be Fran breaking in through the smoke. Finds a kill there as well. He's going to be stunned, but it's going to be mental over here towards B. He's going to have that torque bow in hand. Mental looking that wide now. They have control of the hills and triple cap coming in mental with an amazing shot across map. Gets the revive A, B, C. Here comes a contest from Echo Fox. So they get in the hill. A kill from Toy Soldier does keep this game alive. 71 to 56. Optic Gaming will come back on two hills. Mental just waiting for the moment to shoot and shoots perfectly again. Kill on Braid. Two kills with the turbo for Mental. Looking for three. Explosive says no need for that. I'll get two myself. I'll push the home hill. He sees two players in front of him, but he wants to be a little aggressive here, it seems. Mental with support coming in. Fran shuts him down. Optic Gaming, two players on the home hill. One more slaying will come out from Optic Gaming. Five to zero. Things have gotten out of hand here. Echo Fox must have their arms up in the air right now. They don't know how to stop Optic Gaming, and I can't even tell them either. 16 kills, 13, 10, 13. Double digits across the board. Power up in play, shotgun play. Crossing is a dangerous, dangerous Optic Gaming team. And we kind of thought that this was going to be one of these close games. Before. I said it wouldn't be, remember I said, I think it won't be 7-1 or anything now. But you said like 7-5, was it? 7-5, yeah. Something like that. Don't worry. I, I, never, I, you never know. I said round 13. Uh, like I said, maybe we'll see a miracle comeback coming in here from the side of Echo Fox. Most certainly can't count them out. But you see Boltox are going to be placed down there by the walkways as well. So just trying to do as much damage as possible on their crosses. And in our side station match, we do have Ronin taking on Rise Nation. Ronin currently up one map to zero. 5-2 Ronin in the second map. So looking to advance once again that Ronin squad. But on our main stage, Optic Gaming versus Echo Fox. And it's going to be 5-0 to zero. Optic. One, two, three kills for them. Four players dead for Echo Fox. Not a good start to the round. Long, long respawns, Dirk and a six to zero potential coming in. Toy Soldier last a lot, has to make some gigantic plays here. Knows where they're at. Blind fire shot, torque bow. Toy staying alive, needs to get a chunk kill here. Not gonna get it, Optic Gaming pushing in, they'll get the down on Toy. Off respawn though, he is Echo Fox. See the first drop shot comes in there. And they're just doing an excellent job, but Baden needs ones out coming in from Explosive. They're able to get the dive in there in time before the shot pops off. Now you should see Explosive is going to go down here towards the steps, but here comes the Boltok doing that damage to the player going towards flat, and that's going to make Kyle fall. Right. Start to see more fights going down. Summers is going to be pushing that player up top. That's going to be Kyle, so he's able to clean up that kill. One more to go on the side. That is going to be Solars and Optic Gaming, a force to be reckoned with here on Dam. They are up 5-0, and they're looking to try to make it 6-0. B and C in their control, and they have A in mind. Boltok shots going out, damaging. Look at the score, though. Zero points for Echo Fox. Two hills to one for Optic, five to zero, long respawn. Optic pretty much can do whatever they want right now, play however they want. Don't gotta make any moves, they got a big lead. And they got the advantage again. Green wall set up across the middle of the map. Echo Fox, you gotta push in, you gotta bring the fight to us. And with those Lancer fire shots coming out, they'll get the first down, Optic push again. Kenny wants to get a little more up close and personal. Gets the kill on the down player, beating down Echo Fox right now. Literally and figuratively, Kenny Bowser with another double! 6 0 on the horizon for Optic Gaming. Things have gotten out of hand here, running away with this map. Echo Fox, no answer for this team right now on Cam. What a sequence of events coming in there from Kenny as well, making the big play. Still one more player to worry about. They're going to be able to get this one. Optic Gaming, 6 0. Here on Dam, as you see Kenny, he's getting up, he's getting loud. That entire sequence, ultimate disrespect, just getting beat down after beat down, but they had him pinned down into one little small cube. Four kills in a row in that sequence as well. We head into halftime. It's going to be a fresh set, but for Echo Fox, you have Mount Everest to climb. United already out. Echo Fox on the brink. Bottom of their shoes, and that's what they're trying to find. But here, 
you know, off to gaming, trying to close it out with the hot 7-0 in map number three. And what a statement win that would be. Two players gonna be dead. One to just come up and spawn for the side of Echo Fox, which you're also gonna have Kenny down on the side of Optic Gaming. You see the Lantern Fire coming here from the flat. Metal trying to do his best to stay alive. It's gonna to be Toy finding that opening kill. As now it's gonna be summoned one versus two. Solar's gonna be able to win that fight there as well. Nice kills for Echo Fox coming out with a good start to the round, but again, short respawn, so Optic Gaming will have an opportunity to come off spawn here. Icy already in the back of the truck. Waiting for Optic to get off respawn. Echo Fox, a little, uh, not a lead here, but a lead in hills, two to one. You see the rotations coming out here from Optic already. Mental looking to rotate right now back to the left. Make sure you have your numbers free push out here. You see Mental pushing on forward. Damage is going to be done towards him. That's going to be three kills going in favor, and they'll make that four kills going in their favor. Kenny, the last player up for the side of Optic Gaming, the first player up to try to push on forward here, to try to get that home hill back is going to be Mental, and that's going to be it, Echo Fox. They get their first round on the board here. So the first step taking up a mountain begins. A, a baby, start baby steps, you know, one round at a time. Take a small step, maybe round two, take a little bit bigger step. Maybe all of a sudden you're running. You're back in the game, but six to one. X coming out there from Optic Gaming. No weapon placed just yet. Echo Fox, you're not gonna have a chance to put anything else down. So you gotta play whatever Optic wants you to play with, you're playing with. So if Explosive wants to put down Retros, you gotta deal with it. Put down boom shot, you gotta deal with it. So makes it ten times harder to deal with it. Is that you have to keep winning and you know that you're not gonna be able to dictate anything when it comes down to the weapon placements. It's all gonna be its optic gaming's hands. So we'll see what they're gonna do off the bat here. We're kicking it off with summons of optic gaming. It's gonna be down here towards Pit with that lancer. One player is trying to try to charge on board, but mental able to dip and straight through the smoke. You're gonna be able to find one kill over there for Praise, but Kyle's gonna get the team kill onto Praise there. Mental and explosive. They're gonna be able to find one each for their own. Kenny follows that one up. Four dead for Echo Fox Solars, the last man alive right now. The last line of defense, Optic Gaming already pushing them to home hill. They have F, they have E, Solar's taken down. Optic Gaming, six to one, make it seven to one, and they eliminate Echo Fox here on Championship Sunday.